hi guys you're welcome back to my channel my name is stella all right so in today's video we're going to be drafting cutting and sewing a high low peplum blouse all right so our main focus is on the high low okay so um let's jump right into the video now to start with the blouse length that we're working with okay so the blouse the blouse length that we're working with is is 27.5 inches so this is the blouse length that we are working with all right now the front length which is the half length okay so the front the front length or you can call it the half length is 18.5 inches all right now if you subtract 18.5 inches from 27.5 inches you'll be left with nine inches okay so if you subtract 27.5 inches minus 18.5 inches you have nine inches okay so this nine inches is now um the length of the peplum all right so this is the length of the flare now okay so i'll call it our our flare length okay this is the this nine inches all right so um now to calculate a kiss plate okay or a kissing plate you will need the person's waist round and how the waist round we're working with is 38 inches so we are going to multiply the waist round by three all right so we'll go ahead and multiply her waist round which is 38 38 inches multiplied by three all right and that will give us 114 okay we we'll divide this figure by two okay so if we divide 114 by two we will get 57 inches okay now this 57 inches we will go ahead and divide it by 6.28 so you pick 57 inches divided by 6.28 now that will give us approximately 9 inches okay so this 9 inches is now our radius all right so the radius of this is 9 inches remember a quick recap of what we have done the blouse length complete blouse length is 27.5 inches and the front length or the half length okay for the front is 18.5 inches now we went ahead to subtract 18.5 inches from 27.5 and we have 9 inches which is the the flare length okay so if you want to cut your length now it's 9 inches all right but because we need to do a kissing plate we went ahead to multiply her waist round by 3 and this gave us 114 uh, 114 all right so for a kissing plate i like to multiply um her waist round by three okay and i'll divide my answer by two then i'll go ahead and make use of just one half of it okay then i'll proceed to divide it by 6.28 this is what we are working with all right now let's move back to the high low okay so for the high low okay so for the high low um, let's start with the low okay so for the low um, we will make use of this nine inches okay so whatever your own is that will be your low okay so our low length is nine inches and this nine inches we're going to add our allowances we'll add half inch we'll add 0 0.5 inch for joining to the half length and another 0 0.5 inch for um, hemming okay for turning with the lining and that will give us 10 inches okay so the low length is 10 inches all right the high okay now the high length so so the high length of the peplum now it's your choice okay but in this case i want the difference to be five inches all right so i want the difference to be five inches so i'll go ahead and add my five inches to this our nine inches okay so nine inches which is the length of the low plus um plus the difference um that you want okay but for mine i want my own difference to be five inches so nine plus five will give us 14 inches okay now this 14 inches i'll also add my 0 0.5 um 0 0.5 inch of allowance for joining to the half length and another 0 0.5 for turning with the lining all right and that will give us 15 inches okay so this is what we have now so our low length is 10 inches our high length is 15 our radius that we're working with is nine inches all right so this is it for the calculation okay 
So I'll come in with the fabric and we'll begin. All right. So, okay. So here's my fabric. Now you go ahead and fold, fold it into two. Okay. So this fabric is folded into two. Okay. So it's folded into two. Now I'll also go ahead and fold it into four. All right. Now this lining is length um, 44. All right. So by the time you fold it into four, the length you will have should be 22 inches. Okay. So what I have here is 22 inches. All right. Now I'll go ahead and pin this back. Okay, so I have it pinned now. So now that we have um, the lining folded, we will go ahead and mark out the complete length. Okay, so the length that we have here is 22 inches. I told us that the total length of the lining is 44. So I'll go ahead and just mark, I'll mark this 22 inches round. Okay. <laughs> I'll go ahead and cut this out okay remember that at this point we have not imputed uh, um, we've not even started marking our radius okay nothing yet we're just getting the length all right so I'll go ahead and cut this out first okay. here we have it now you go ahead and open it okay open it like this all right and we will move so we'll start our calculation from one end, okay? We're not marking this way now. We're moving from one end, okay? So you need to pin it down. I have pinned it down. Now, let's proceed. Remember when we were calculating, we got the low length to be nine inches and we added one inch, okay? And that gave us 10 inches, all right? So I'll go ahead now and come in with our tape and we'll start from this end, all right? From one end. So I'll place my tape there and I will mark 10 inches, okay? So I'll make a mark at my 10 inches, okay? And this is what I have now, all right? So from here now, I'll need to mark our radius of nine inches, okay? Remember, I marked the low length. We got um, 10 inches, nine inch from um, plus the one inch, okay? And that gave us 10. So from one end, I marked what? 10 inches, all right? Now, I'll go ahead and mark the radius from this 10 inch mark that I have here, okay? So I'll go ahead and mark um, the radius of, sorry, I'll go ahead and mark the radius of nine inches, okay? So this is my radius now. So from here, from this radius point that we have now, I'll go ahead and take the radius round. From this our radius, all right, so a quick recap. Um, from one end, I went ahead to mark the low length of of 10 inches okay this is what we have now from this point we will mark our radius and our radius is 9 inches based on our calculation so i have the radius mark here okay so i'll place my tape here now and i'll mark the radius round so that i can get a circle here okay so i'll mark it this way all right we have it i have my radius now okay so i'll go ahead now and cut this out now now this place is now our front okay and this is the back all right and you can check the length of the back can you see the length of the back is 15.75 okay so that's how that's how high the back length is okay okay and here we have it so this part is now um this is our front okay which is the low okay and here is our back now it's advisable that you notch to indicate the midpoints all right so i'll go ahead now and cut this out so now we also need to notch here all right and notch here here as well okay so here we have it now um before i unpin okay 
so you can see the difference so before i open i'll go ahead and transfer this to my fabric okay so here's the fabric that we're working with so i'll go ahead and transfer the the lining to the fabric and i'll cut out all right so i'm going ahead to transfer um to also cut out our flare on the fashion fabric okay so um okay so here is the lining all right now i have gone ahead to pleat the lining all right so here's the lining i have i've pleated i formed um the boss pleat okay now a quick note anytime you're turning your fashion fabric with lining and you are making a box pleat it's advisable to do this now whatever pleat you're going to form on the right side of the fashion fabric you need to form it on the wrong side of the lining a perfect example you will see that my box pleat is on the wrong side of the lining okay you can see the kissing pleat is on the wrong side of the lining and not on the right side okay so that when you turn it they are still going to be um, aligned properly okay so we're going to keep this aside and we will pleat the fashion fabric okay so the very first thing you need to do is to go ahead and measure the entire um flare okay so you need to go ahead and measure the waist the entire circumference okay of this point okay so what i have here is 60 inches now the waist round we're working with is, is 38 so 38 plus the 2 inches allowance for zip that makes it 40. so you need to subtract 40 inches from the 60 inches that we have here so it means that we're left with 20 inches to plate okay now that 20 inches we need to note the figure so for coming with so another thing you need to do is to go ahead and indicate the midpoint of this flare okay which i have done all right so this is the midpoint i have a notch here indicating the midpoint now we need to keep this aside and come with the blouse that we're working with so this is a blouse that we're working with so this is a blouse that we're working with now i have two darts here you can see the darts all right so i have my two darts here i also have another dart on this side okay and another side now i want my pleats to be just at the points of the darts alone so the number of darts i have here is one two three and four so that means i'm going to have four pleats in total okay so you remember our allowance that we have left 20 inches after we subtracted the waist round from the flare so it simply means that we're going to divide that 20 inches by this four okay by the four darts and that will give us five so it means each box pleat will be um, five inches in total okay i hope that is clear now let's now get the marks okay so you need to get the midpoint of the blouse that you're working with all right and i have been notched so from this midpoint we'll measure to the first that leg okay and this is 3.5 inches all right so from the midpoint of the blouse the first that leg is 3.5 inches now from the first that leg we need to measure to the second that leg so to the second that leg is 11.25 inches now this automatically applies to this same side so we have 3.5 inches and from here to here is 11.25 inches now we'll keep this aside okay and it's time for us to form our box split so this is my mid point so from this mid point we're going to measure 3.5 inches to the left okay to the left and to the right so i'll go ahead and measure our first that leg distance so this is my 3.5 inches okay now you remember that each of the box splits will be 5 inches so that 5 inches divided by 2 will give us 2.5 okay so i'll go ahead and make a mark on the 2.5 inches now we need to split so to split we're raising um the 3.5 inches mark to meet this our 2.5 inches mark this way all right so we raise it up and we pin down now the moment you pin here you need to pin the lower part immediately okay so we have it pinned now we need to go ahead and mark the second um, box split allowance so we have the second 2.5 inches there all right so we're also coming we're going to raise the fabric up okay this way and we will rest it here okay then i'll go ahead and pin this down all right and we're also going to pin this side now because this is a high low flare you don't expect this side to be equal okay so this is very much correct now let's repeat the same thing here okay so back to this side we'll go ahead and mark our 3.5 inches okay which is the distance between the second that leg i have you marked here and from here we'll mark our 2.5 inches box pleat allowance for this side okay i have it here now we will need to pleat it so we are raising this 3.5 inches to meet the 2.5 inches mark okay so this way and 
I'll pin it down. All right. And also, we're pinning the lower part down as well. Okay. So let's mark the second 2.5 inches. Okay. So we also need to pin it down. So we're raising it to come and meet this one. Okay. This way. Okay. So we need to also pin down the lower part immediately. All right. Now you can see that they are both was the same. All right. Now you remember the distance between this place and the next that leg and we got it as 11.25 okay so we need to go ahead and measure out our 11.25 so I'm, i'll place my tape here all right and i'll measure 11.2 so and i'll measure 11.25 okay and here it is all right so now from here we need to mark our um, box place allowance of 2.5 Okay, so here it is. We need to raise here to meet the 2.5. Okay, this way, and I'll pin it down. All right, so we'll also, I'll also pin down the lower part. Okay, now let's mark the second 2.5 inches. Okay, so this is the second 2.5 inches. All right, so I'll raise it up and pin it here all right okay so i'll pin it here all right and i will immediately pin down the lower part all right here we have we were done with this side now let's repeat the same thing on on this other side okay remember from this that leg in the front we got the, um, our distance of 11.25 okay so i have it here marked Okay, so I have it here marked, and from here we will measure out our box width allowance of 2.5. All right, now I'm going to raise this up to meet it. Okay, this way, and I'll pin it down. All right, also we'll pin down the lower part. Okay, so we need to measure the second um, 2.5 inch box width. Okay, so I have it here marked. All right, so I'll raise this up to meet it. All right, and I'll pin it down. Okay, then I'll pin down this lower side as well. All right, and here we have it. We are done. Okay, here we have it. We are done with, with it. All right, you can see how it's looking. Now, the lower part is very much correct okay so i'll go ahead now and i will just i'll take it to the sewing machine and i will just stack these pieces down okay so that the box bits remains in place and i'll just iron them and leave i'll take off the pins all right then i'll come in with the lining okay so you can see that the box the kissing plate that we have on the right side of the fashion fabric is what we have on the wrong side of the line okay so i'll go ahead now and i'll take off these pins okay and i'll turn the lower part of the lining i'll turn the fashion fabric with this lining all right and afterwards i'll fix it to the blouse and i'll show us the finished look okay and here we have it um i'm done with all our joinings okay so i went ahead to attach a modesty panel to this um blouse all right so and um i just tacked press buttons to it okay so when my client wants to wear it all she needs to do is just to go ahead and fix the press button to the blouse okay and lace the back all right so that's the style the style is is a high low peplum blouse with um lacing at the back okay so you can see our high low flare how neat is looking now i'll go ahead and zip it up so you can see how flat it is I will say it again the major secret is to properly iron every step of the way okay so this is the front you can see our kissing pleats and you can see the lining as well all clean okay it's completely lined all right so and i went ahead to press our kissing pleat properly okay now i have a little video on how to make the structure sleeve all right i'll leave the link in the description box if you're interested um to learn 
okay and that's the end of the video now i went ahead to make a pencil um a midi pencil skirt for this blouse all right the fitting is lovely now we have a detailed video on how to make a pencil skirt if you're um if you've not seen the video i'll leave the link in the description box okay now let me just quickly show us the inside of the skirt okay and here we have it now you can see um the way it's it's clean okay all right so enough of the someone thank you for watching kindly subscribe to my channel like the video drop your comments and your remark in the comment section and i'll see you bye